Smart Suite is a very powerful tool on its own, but what makes it even more special and valuable to our customers is the ability to integrate with a wide range of tools outside of Smart Suite. With a new when the webhook is received automations trigger, take this capability to a whole new level. Hi, my name is Vova, I'm a project manager at Smart Suite, and I'm happy to show you our latest addition to a growing list of automation triggers. Let's go! When the webhook is received automations trigger can be found in the same place where you find any other automations trigger and it's really simple to configure. We provide it with a URL that you can copy and paste to any third-party service that you'll be using to send an outbound webhook from. Then you just need to select a method to support both get and post. And then you just need to send a get webhook. We can see some incoming requests here, and we can see the data that was received by SmartSuite. And you, we can simply use this structure to configure a template for the outputs that will be available for you in the following automation actions. Now let me show you a configured automation, everything set up and show you how this can be useful for your workflow. Let's imagine I have some tool that sends a webhook request to Smart Suite whenever the new order is placed. So I have the URL, I'm expecting a post request, and I want to see a certain data structure to come in. Now this looks like a complex setup and looks like it would take a lot of time to get this all ready, but it's actually not. It was all created by Smart Suite for me. In fact, I can just delete this and show you how easy it is to set up this from scratch. So first to do that, I would need to disable the automation and then this redetermined data structure becomes active and it allows you to check the most recent requests that were incoming, to say this one, for example. And I can see that this request contains certain fields, has the order number, the type, the number of items in the order, a list of recipients, that I have as a text here, but it can be an array as well. And then some delivery address that I will post into my smart suite fields. And all I have to do to build all of these is just click the use this structure button and we will see that it's all automatically built with a key here and then the value which will show the data type that was received by the code. Now for the action, I just want to create a new record in smart suite each time the order is received. To do that, I will simply create certain field types, then map the data from the incoming webhook request to those fields. My example, I'm also using the parse values option in the linkage record field to link multiple records at the same time. Now, all we have to do is enable the automation, save it, and let's see what we get. Well, as we can see, the new order was created, it has the information from a mapped field, it has multiple records linked to them as we got a list of employees who will receive the order. And then it has all the address fields from the webhook trigger mapped to the corresponding field in Smart Suite. Together with the webhook action, this new when the webhook is received automations trigger will give you even more flexibility by working with data outside of Smart Suite. It is available now for all plant types. Please take a look and we are looking forward to hearing your feedback.